Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. So feel free to check out some other videos while you're here. Today, I wanted to share another batch cooking video. It's been requested for more batch cooking and recipes and things like that. So I will have more content like this coming at you. So be sure to like this video and comment below to let me know if you enjoy it. I'm going to be preparing some tofu scramble today, some beans that I'm going to turn into black bean burgers. I'm also going to cook up some potatoes and make my chipotle chili dip, which is so delicious. I actually make it with lupin beans to make the protein content a little bit higher, but they can also be made with chickpea. It's family favorite. We've been making it and remaking it and remaking it and enjoying it in a multitude of ways. So I hope you really enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments what you've been batch cooking recently and what kind of meals you've been enjoying during the summer season. Stay tuned for a pasta salad recipe coming soon and a tofu recipe as well. Let's get right into it. All right, I'm starting off my batch cooking this week with potatoes. And this little potato is so cute. Looks like two potatoes stuck together, almost like a little heart. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm just cooking up my potatoes in the Instant Pot. So I put one cup of water into the Instant Pot, scrub my potatoes, chop them in half, and put them in the steamer basket in the Instant Pot. Put the lid on and set the valve to sealing. Set the Instant Pot for 12 minutes, manual high pressure. Set it and forget it. Let them cook up, do their own thing, and let it naturally release for about 10 minutes or so, and then release the valve, and they're good to go. While my potatoes are cooking, I'm also making a tofu scramble. Really simple. I have half of a red pepper and half of a green pepper here that I've just chopped up adding those to a pan over medium high heat, adding a splash of water so that they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Cook those up for a couple of minutes and then I'm adding my tofu. I just crumble this in with my hands, firm tofu here. And then adding in one tablespoon of soy sauce or tamari and one teaspoon of maple syrup, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, one teaspoon of turmeric, a bit of black pepper. Give that a good stir and let it cook up for a bit. And then I will add some spinach here. Cook that up for another couple of minutes and it's all done. Pretty easy, pretty quick to put together. I love this recipe. It's super quick, super easy to throw together. Great for multiple different dishes like a tofu scramble salad or for a tofu scramble wrap or sandwich. Lots of different options here. Really delicious. Next up, I'm cooking up my black beans. So I'm putting them in the instant pot and cooking them for about 30 minutes, manual high pressure. And I let them release naturally for about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes, and then they're good to go. Once I cook up the black beans, I decided I was going to make my black bean and mushroom burgers. And I do have a full video that I recently put out with this recipe, so I will put it in the cards and in the description box below. But I did want to tell you how versatile this recipe is. So I ran out of mushrooms. I didn't realize that I was out of mushrooms, but I was. So I, I had some zucchini, so I chopped that up and used that in place of the mushrooms. I also didn't have garlic on hand, so I used garlic powder. I was actually a bit short on time as well, so I decided that I would not pre-cook any of the vegetables. I decided I would just process everything together in the food processor and cook them up in the oven and it worked beautifully. They tasted amazing. So this recipe is quite versatile. You can switch up the veggies and switch things up a little bit and play with it and it's quite forgiving. These were absolutely delicious. Chipotle roasted red pepper dip with lupin beans. You can also use chickpeas for this if you don't have lupin beans. Lupin beans are great because they're high in protein. 
So if that's something you're concerned about, they're a great option. So I'm adding one cup of lupin beans to my blender. And this is going to be good by the end. A quarter cup of roasted red pepper, half a tablespoon of lemon juice. It'll be so yummy. Half a teaspoon of chipotle chili pepper. It's going to be really good, guys. And one clove of garlic. We actually don't have any fresh garlic on hand, so I'm using garlic powder instead, which works well. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And lastly, I'm adding a quarter cup of water. We also like to double this recipe so that we have lots on hand for leftovers, but I'm just making a smaller amount today. It's going to be perfect. Do you think that, Mom? Mm -hmm. chipotle roasted red pepper dip you can always add a little bit more water if you'd like to thin it out slightly or use it as a salad dressing or something like that but delicious dip perfect with fresh veggies pita like, bread like carrots yeah cucumbers sometimes with pita mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna go enjoy it Thank you so much for watching through until the end of this video and watching some ads. I really appreciate the support on the channel. Remember to give the video a like if you liked it and subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already. Feel free to check out my social media channels as well and follow me there if you're interested in more content from me. Check me out at PlantFitMeg on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. As always, I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.